Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how we're able to successfully budget. There are five things that I do that help with our budgeting journey and I wanted to share those with you guys. I definitely plan on doing some more videos relating to like budgeting for beginners, sharing my entire budget process, all of those fun videos are to come. But today we're gonna be talking about the five things that I do so that we can successfully budget. So the first thing is, I, and I think is honestly one of the most important things, all of these are gonna be important, but this one is especially important, is when you're creating a budget, you have to be realistic. It's all fine and dandy if you want to say, I'm gonna spend $100 on rent, but honestly, if that's not how much rent costs around you, it's not realistic. This is probably the best example I can give, is back in the past, it was just us three in the house, I would create budgets in the very beginning, and I'm like, you know what? $75 per week for groceries, that should be fine. And then every single month, every single month, we are always over. And I'm like, what is going on? Why are we always over? And it was because my amount, my budget amount for groceries was too low. And you can say all you want that you want it to be this amount, but if it's not realistic, it's not going to work. So I definitely recommend sitting down with your expenses. And again, I'll go into this when it comes to like how to budget and budgeting for beginners. But go through your expenses and see what is a realistic expense for you. Don't lower your budget too much because if you do that, you're going to be over budget and you're going to be discouraged. So try and just be realistic when it comes to your expenses and what you need to spend money on. The second thing that I do to successfully budget is I track every single expense. And I know that sounds really daunting. And again, I'll talk about that in some of the other videos. But for me, the best way to do that is I keep every single receipt and I record every expense off of our receipts. We have a set place in my office. It's not right here, but I'll show it to you guys. We have a set place in my office where we put receipts in a bin. And so when I go to do our weekly check-ins or when I go to track expenses, I pull this bin and I know that every single receipt that me or Jason had is in this bucket. I do obviously check it to our bank. I check it to our credit cards just to make sure that I'm you know, grabbing every expense because you never know. Like sometimes you go to the gas station and it doesn't give you a receipt or you go out to eat and they don't give you a receipt. So I always make sure that I'm like double checking everything, but I do have a set place for that. And tracking expenses is huge because again, you can put together a budget and that's all fine and dandy. But if you're not actually tracking your expenses and seeing what your actual numbers are, then there's no point to it because you need to do both steps. So that is one of the things that I think helps us really successfully budget. The third thing that we do to make our budget successful is we make sure that we have a system in place. Again, that relates to the whole seats bucket and all of that. I know that if Jason goes to the grocery store, if Jason gets gas, that that receipt will be in the bin. I know that when it comes to my weekly check-in, I like to do that every single week so I know how we're doing. I know that I need to grab those receipts and track that. So we have a system in place, again, I'm gonna talk all about this with my whole budgeting cycle, but it's really important to put things in place and make sure that you're following through with them. So if you're gonna have a place in your house where you and your husband or you and your partner or whoever in your household is going to put receipts, make sure that they're always there. Make it easy, make sure that it's somewhere that like you could easily drop something in. This bucket is right up on top of my bookshelf, so honestly, Jason doesn't even have to come into my office. He could just easily like drop it right in as soon as he comes by the door. It's really simple, really easy, but you're gonna wanna make sure that whatever you put in place for your budget, that it's easy and it's easy to continue. Because again, the hardest part with a lot of the stuff, with a lot of budgeting is it's great and all fine to start it, but it's hard to follow through if you don't put the right systems in place. The fourth thing that I do to successfully budget is I compare my actual spending to my budget. Again, I think this is probably the most important part of budgeting, and I think a lot of people fail to do this. When I first started budgeting, I was watching a bunch of videos, and I honestly was just kind of shocked how many people would put like a budget together, and there was no place to put an actual. Like, how do you know that your expenses are always going to be the same. How do you know that there's never going to be a time where it's over? I just didn't get it. And so when I started budgeting, I made it a point like, okay, if I'm gonna put together a budget, if I'm gonna take the time to do that, I'm also going to make sure that I'm recording my expenses and I'm tracking what my actual amounts are and seeing how it compared. Because if you get to the end of the month 
and you're like, okay, I should have saved a thousand dollars this month and I only saved 500. You're going to be extremely confused. Why? If you have a place where you have your budget, your actual spending, and then a place for over and under, you're going to know exactly why that $500 is not in your savings account. It could be because groceries is too high. It could be because you, you know, took a road trip and your gas expenses were, were higher than you expected. It doesn't necessarily matter so much that you spent more money than you thought. It's more, you know, why? So you can adjust things in the future so you can plan better in the future. The fifth thing that we do to successfully budget, and again, this is this is also super important, is just give yourself grace. When you create a budget, it's at one point in time. There's no way that you're going to be able to think of every single thing, every single expense, every single event that's going to come up. And so if you don't give yourself grace, you're you're going to be stressed all the time about why your budget is not what you thought it was going to be. You're going to be stressed because you didn't think about this expense. You didn't remember that, that you had to buy pool passes this month. You didn't remember that someone's birthday. You didn't remember that it was Mother's Day. There's always going to be something that you forget. So you have to give yourself grace and just remember that you are trying as hard as you can. You can put together a budget. You can track all of your expenses, but there are going to be times where you don't remember something and you have to just go with it. You can't get too discouraged by the fact that you spent more or less than what you thought you were going to spend. So for us, budgeting is really important. We started budgeting three years ago when we bought our house and we were shocked by how much money we were spending. Again, back in the day, we had an Excel budget. I created it for the entire year. I never adjusted it. And I would think, okay, we're supposed to save this amount every single month. And every month would go by and I'm like, hmm, our checking account is not higher than what it was in the beginning of the month. We haven't saved anything this month. Why is that? And I had no idea. So I'd go through and I'm like, mm -hmm, okay, this might be why, this might be why. And I remember Jason being like, oh, how are we doing? And I'm like, oh, I think we did okay. Like we didn't really save that much. And he's like, why? Why didn't we save that much? Well, we were spending a ton of money on eating out because it was just us two. So we'd go out to like nice dinners. We'd go to the movies, we'd get popcorn every single weekend and that stuff really adds up. So again, I think the five main things that make us right now successful at budgeting is one, we're realistic. We make sure that when we're putting down a budget, we are putting down something that we can actually achieve. We try and be, you know, we try and be as good as we can and lower things as much as we can, but there's no way that a family of four is going to be able to have less than a certain amount in groceries every month. There's just no way. So we're, we make sure that we're realistic. We make sure that we track every single expense. We never, ever, ever not track an expense. And again, if you put a system in place, which is the third thing that we do, if you put a system in place, it becomes easy. It becomes foolproof. You never miss something. You never have to like go back and track everything all at once and it'd be super overwhelming and take hours. It should honestly be streamlined and it should be easy. The fourth thing that we do is we track our expenses and we compare our budget to what our actual spending is. Again, probably the most important, the most important part of budgeting and unfortunately the part that so many people fail to do. So that is one of the things that I definitely think if you're going to budget, you have to track your expenses, like have to. And the fifth thing again, is just give yourself grace and remember that you're not perfect. Nobody's perfect. You're not going to think of every expense. If it's something that really bothers you, if like not having a place for every single expense or, you know, not being, not being able to think of everything, you could always put either a buffer in your checking account, which is what we do. We put a buffer in there so that if something unexpected happens, if we forget like, oh crap, we need to buy a car seat this month, we have extra money in our checking account so that that's never an issue. Or you could just put an unbudgeted line in your budget. That way, when you have something like that come up, you have a place and you have a little bit of money set aside for that type of item. So those are the five ways that we successfully budget. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and I hope you guys got something from it. Again, I plan to do a bunch more videos talking about budgeting, especially getting into budgeting. But if there's something that specific that you guys want to see, let me know down below. I know a lot of people are kind of unsure about sinking funds and how you should store those and how all of that works. So leave me any suggestions for things that you guys want to see and I will have 
a video up for you guys soon. I definitely want to continue this. I talked about this a lot, but I really want to just give you more like tips and tricks on how we were able to pay off so much debt and save so much money. And a lot of that has to do with budgeting and just keeping track of everything. But a lot of it also has to do with like side hustle stuff and YouTube and all of that. So I definitely have a ton more videos for you guys, um, but just keep an eye out for those. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you got something out of it. And again, leave me any of your suggestions down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.